The things we choose to ignore can and will kill you. Derek Kennard is a former NFL guard and center for the Dallas Cowboys. My playing days is very humble beginnings. I was uh, drafted by the St. Louis Cardinals in the second round in the supplemental draft. With that said, 11 surgeries later and uh, uh, Super Bowl and, and uh, uh, I wound up a free agent after three years with the Cowboys. My last game was at the Carolina Panthers and uh, it was January 97. The reason why I got into this sleep apnea is because my, my little brother, uh, Donald, uh, passed away in 2009. And prior to my brother passing, um, Reggie White had just passed. Pro football players in the United States are five times more likely to develop sleep apnea. These are the athletes who are twice as likely to die before the age of 50. So I went through life for quite a while with sleep apnea, really bad. Derek was snoring loudly and feeling exhausted even after a full night's sleep. He had episodes of no breathing. He stopped breathing. Snore so loud during the day, I, was, I would speak as if I'm a horse, like I've been howling at the moon all night. Sleep apnea goes into generations of not talking about our family history, medical stuff, that's been going on in our families for generations. When I first was diagnosed, finally diagnosed, I wound up being uh, 467 pounds. And from there, I went down at 330. I feel great and I have a better quality of life. I would like to, to say to my former players is to take the machoism out of the room and and deal with this because it's more than just you not sleeping at night. It attributes to diabetes, to uh, being overweight, high blood pressure, and other internal problems. Derek realized if he didn't get a handle on this thing and tackle it head on, sleep apnea could be the cause of his death. It can kill you.